promised. <laughs> Judy's still here, right? It's interview time. She didn't run. I say this every time. Right. The only person who ever ran was Steve Roberts, who was like, interview? No, 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 no. And he went to the door. So I'm, I'm thrilled that you were able to do it. The band crawl was awesome. Aww. Thank you very, very much no, for doing thank that. thank you. It was so much fun. Thank you very much for doing that. So uh, for anybody who doesn't know, Judy from Judy Behave, and she has Bleeding Heart, the Heart Tribute Band. Yes. We're going to talk about both of these. Judy Behave is... I just noticed how much shorter I am than you on that, by the way. I'm short in real life, just so everybody knows. It's the but throne. I just, it's I'm a you're on, riser. Well, you have to put the princess in the chair, right? Like, you have to, you know, <laughs> oh. so, so no problem. So, oh, thank you. So, um, Judy Behave is interesting to me because, first of all, I've seen the older version of Judy Behave. Yeah. Um, again, I play a lot, so I don't get to go as much as I want. Yeah. The band's awesome. Your vocals are awesome. Everybody thank knows you. that. Um, but you've kind of gone through the Van Hagar thing, right? Mm -hmm. Like, it, it, you have a whole new crew yeah your band is all it basically your old band is cobalt 27 yeah. steve lapine is with skin deep lapine and, and lapine thank yes, you yes. um is with skin deep yes and so you built a whole new crew behind you of some very impressive musicians by uh, the way thank you um, i've seen rush hour yeah and i'm a big reed hayes fan oh, of course um, so tell me a little bit about how the new band is or is not different from the old band in terms yeah. of like what are you guys playing what are you focusing on <clears throat> well it kind of started off um being an enormous rush fan i'd always wanted to actually have a rush tribute band but that wouldn't work <laughs> because I, you know i'm a chick but um i just love rush so much and i i really felt like it was missing from the market that bands weren't um exploring the prog rock um areas and i really wanted to do that that was my heart and soul so when um you know i i wanted to keep the brand judy behave and um just do a lot of that type of music so when I did that, I was like, well, who can play Rush the best? That was a no-brainer, so. Especially with Reed on drums. <clears throat> with Reed on drums, um, Sean Gannum, a, a very intimidating type of guitar player. He literally dances with his feet. He's playing the pedals and the guitar. And I mean, if you watch his feet, it's absolutely incredible. Hmm. So Sean Gannum on guitar, Chad Kulskar on bass, my goodness, I mean, he plays all the Getty to a T. Which is not easy. And he's got a gorgeous voice, right? Nice. So I really wanted to accomplish that. When I first started, I, I always wanted a fifth player. So I started off with a saxophone player, just okay. to be different. Okay. And um, that didn't work out. We really needed keys in order to be able to do sure. the genre of music that we wanted. So um, right now we have uh, Terry O'Connor. He mm -hmm. is a, a full-time member of Judy Behave. And he is absolutely incredibly talented. He also plays guitar, sings, and plays keyboard too. So we have just taken everybody's idea of what a good type of genre of music this should sound like and also what's danceable what people will like and uh so that's where we live we live in prog rock land right and so it's not just a rush band no no it's, we it's do, everything right? no we but i don't apologize for it i do about six rush songs in oh, at the that. night you know i mean it, because it's it's just missing and we all sure. you know the people that love rush that come to hear rush you don't want to hear one or two you want to hear you really want to hear more than that so we right. stick them in there um but you've got you said you have yes i do yes we do triumph we do yes we do pat travers um we do you know crash and burn with the great keyboards oh, yeah. in it yeah um steely dan uh we do a little a little river band we nice. throw in some yacht rock um but we also do some heart the barracuda pretenders you know we also like to do you know the good rock that you know just feels good to everybody too so you know we like to explore things that are more complicated because why not i can i got right. the rush tribute band behind me hi why you not no yeah they're incredible incredible musicians beyond incredible so you know i really like to push that i'm just scraping crumbs from the rush hour table <laughs> and you know slapping a judy behave sticker on them for that's a night. all right hey your, your vocals are outstanding no oh, thank you i i heard, first heard you sing when you rehearsed here with sound theory <laughs> on was it not broken shallow it was shallow shallow yes. from uh, from the movie right? yes Star okay very good yes. cool. so i know you can oh, sing okay. and i've been to a number of judy behave shows when you had the other yeah. lineup i just haven't had a chance to see the new one right so obviously you're playing some on the prog rock scale you're playing some bands you don't hear a lot of other bands do that's right 
Right, is it still the more popular songs that those bands do? Are people going to come out and learn something new? Or are they going to walk in and be like, I love this song. I haven't heard anybody do it in five years. Uh, a little bit of both. Mm -hmm. uh, I think a little bit of both. Because some bands do cover, like, Jefferson Starship. You know, they do Jane. Sure. Mm -hmm. So we do Jane, mm -hmm. you know. And so, but that is such an enormous, those great epic type of songs. Uh, we cover a lot of those, you know. And uh, so, yeah, I think a little bit of both. So how are you picking the songs you guys are playing? Are people suggesting them? Is the band picking them? What are you doing? Well, the band's picking them. I'm picking them. I just picked a new Genesis tune. You know, you just kind of hear it and go, oh, that would be great, you know? And um, then to fulfill, because they're a rush hour and they mm -hmm. do fill in other places, um, they might come and say, I want to do Atlanta uh, rhythm section, you know? Okay. That was Sean wanted to uh, do that song. So we do So Into You, you yeah. know? And uh, so when they they can hear a song that would fit us, we'll do it. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. And Reed, Reed wanted to do Shame by Fu. Yeah? Yeah, we're, we're getting around to that. Very cool. Yeah. And, and so um, it's a very different sound. It's a very different type of music. Right. What clubs are you playing at? Yeah, that's a good one. OB's gives us lots of love. Sure, they're always great to all the bands. Yes, yes, we've played uh, Main Street Station. Um, so there was, because Phaedra is a huge Rush fan. Nice. So we were like, you know, Rush girls unite, please. And um, so just, you know, all, uh, all around post time, you mm -hmm. know, it's been a little bit, but um, you know, we just kind of, you know, I guess are, uh, getting all those other great new bands in and able to play and mm -hmm. you know so their their rush thing is their first call sure you know and i've been working on bleeding heart yes i so, want to talk about that next yeah so uh but it's been great so and, where are you where are you looking to go that you're not if you could pick a venue that you want to play that you have not been able to play just because you haven't reached out to them whatever yeah. where would it be yeah um well I really think would be a great fit for Dexter's and also I used to have a lot of friends and uh, fans in that area that um, haven't been able to see us there okay any you know because since the pandemic we haven't played there ah and okay so, so john watches the band crawl john. okay john, all right see? hi john there you go. john watches yes. the band crawl yeah 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 do you guys play the hard rock Yes, we have played the hard rock. Oh no, Judy Behave has it. Bleeding Heart did when oh, they okay. had their tribute thing. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. But Judy Behave would love to go to the hard rock, of course. Yes, that is awesome. Yeah, any place that'll that'll have us, you know. Um, Nicole, we've had we've been at the Alley. Love the yeah. Alley. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and I, I'm sorry that I draw a uh, blank on where we've been. But it's like just... songs. As soon as you ask a band what's on your set list, all of us go. <laughs> uh, uh, I don't know. Like, yeah, we. It's just one of those things, right? So. Right, yeah. You have to have a favorite song to play. Uh huh. What is it? What's your oh. What's your favorite song if you had to pick one that you guys play in that band? Uh. I put you on the spot. It's okay. It's probably a tie. I love Free Will. Mm hmm. I love Lay It on the Line by mm -hmm. Triumph. Um, and That's I love In Your Eyes by Peter Gabriel. Sure. It's the first vocal solo that I ever kind of get to riff at yeah, the yeah. end in this kind of cool dimensional way. So I really dig that. Now I want to hear all of those. Now I got to make sure like I know, those are right? awesome. Okay. So I heard you talk about Judy Behave before. I was like, man, I really want Dave to know our set list and who we cover. Yeah, big you time. Know? Yeah, because, yeah. So. Big time. Well, that's mm -hmm. all. And so you also have the Heart Tribute Band. Yeah. Bleeding Heart, right? Yeah. So yeah. what made you decide? I know you're a big Rush fan. Right. How do we how do we land on the Heart Tribute Band? Well, what made Heart us do that? is they're a female led prog band. Right. They really, really are. So growing up, uh, you know, 15 years old, and this is really the reason why I wanted to create the band was because when I sing, listen, see Heart. It takes me back to a moment in my time where I just, I had, it, it was just freedom and love. And I, I mean, I was driving down the road with my best friend, listening to Heart, Dream Boat Annie, going to the beach in her Dodge Dart. You know, it brings <laughs> you back to a place in time, the whole album, song after song after song, every time we went. You know, that was me when I was 15. And about 20 years ago, I said, man, that would really be cool if, you know, we could do it. And, you know, if I could do Heart, but I always said no because I didn't play the flute. Ah, okay. I, I made yep. an excuse for myself not yep. to do it. But all through my life, I always tell everybody, if you want to learn an instrument, it doesn't matter how old you are. Yep. So I have preached this. And then finally a year 
a, a, about a year and a half ago, I took my own advice. Really? And so I do you bought, play the flute now? I sure do. That's awesome. I ordered one on Amazon yep. and I'm still playing the same one. I took lessons and so I'm playing the flute. Nice. Uh, yeah. So that was so, and then I had no excuse. And then it was, you know, finding a Nancy and putting the pieces together, finding our core members, people that had a passion for heart. Mm -hmm. So who's, tell me who's in that band. I will. <laughs> I'm going to start off with Mike Russo. Mike Russo. Yep. Plays for Bandemic, yep. um, and he's the drummer of the band. Yep, he is drummer. the driver, excellent drummer. Yeah, he is not sneakers and a dryer by no means. No. He is a mean, yeah, uh, but a, a smiley. Oh yeah. Guy, yeah, I've met him many times. Yeah, well, uh, the bass player for Bandemic also is in Bleeding Heart. Okay, uh, who's yeah, that? John Grieco. Okay. I said it right. <laughs> I'm gonna believe you because I don't know him, so John, I, yeah. that was right. That, yeah. Uh, so yeah, and so great bass player, monster sound, um, lead guitar. I have Tom Coyle. Do you okay, know, do you I, know? I know the name, but I can't place the face. It's so awesome. Um, he is Barfly Rob's sub, but he has played for everyone in this area for twelve years. Oh wow! Okay. And he is—he's uh, like a little secret weapon. His sound is incredible. Um, his articulation of music. Uh, he's like a band leader for us, you know. Yeah. And uh, you know when it comes to the musical stuff, and he just knows his he knows his junk. He's amazing. So do you like how I'm keeping it PG thirteen? I do. No, I get it. I get. Oh yeah. Hey, I'm this impressed. Is so hard. Yeah. Uh, and Gina Trifoletti on keyboard. Who's fantastic. She is fantastic. Her smile. Uh, that's why I love. I Gina. love how high, happy is Gina when she plays. I can't take that. I mean, it's and she's got a beautiful voice, so she sings. Yeah, she plays. Sings. Her patches are amazing. She's always very happy on stage, which I love. I love she's that. She's always looking around and smiling. It's and doing everything. Anything. I love it. It I love is, it. and she brings such a great vibe to the band too. So you know, and uh, when you're on the phone with her, the way she says goodbye is. She says, okay, I'll talk to you later, all right, kid, that's okay, okay, bye. <laughs> Just every <laughs> single time, it's so cute. Um, and then I have Caitlin Caggiano okay. as my Nancy. Okay, and now I don't know that name either. Yeah, she is a, she's a teacher, so she teaches guitar lessons. You can find her on Instagram. Okay. Um, she does virtual guitar lessons, and she is absolutely incredible. She charted every single um, every single heart song in a week when we needed her and uh, just has the most enthusiasm for the project she's uh, she's beautiful she's got a great sound and her articulation of her instrument is great too she keeps everybody else in line even though she's this little teeny thing yeah. you know she's a teacher she is she's a teacher yeah. yeah yeah she actually teaches like 50 to 60 hours a week Oh, wow. Okay, so no joke there. She is not, yeah, she ain't playing around. And wow. so that's her thing. Yeah, yeah. And, and how long have you guys been together? Uh, let's see. It's been um, since uh, uh, September 6th. We were scheduled to play Saints and Sinners and got rained out. Okay. And that's when we all formed. And then we've been rehearsing ever since. So, so is this going to be the first show for the Tribute Man? Or the first show was at the Hard Rock when they okay. did that oh, that's tribute. Right. Yeah, yeah, that's right. yeah, on the shore, rock the beat on the yep, shore. Yep, rock the beat. Yeah, we played with the Melissa Etheridge Chrome Plated Heart nice. that night. It was wonderful. Kate Reddick, amazing. Oh, amazing, wow, she's very good. Beautiful. Yeah. And so we played with them. We shared the bill. And uh, yeah, so this, and then we did a gig at OB's. Yeah. And we played with TribuCon. Oh, okay. Now, Glenn Bailey, he saw us, uh, saw a video of us and called me within moments and said, oh my gosh, can we please split the bill somewhere? Because he saw the potential. To, sure. And it was really cool. He's been so generous. I mean, I just, the heart that he has to be able to share. No pun intended. Yeah, <laughs> yes, right, yeah. With us, I mean, you don't, I didn't expect that. And it continues. So it's really kind of remarkable, you know? Yeah, and Glenn and his band, the Tribute Con and Crash, they're both legends on the scene. They are. You know, they're just so talented. They're so good. They've always been willing to help other bands out. Yeah. As long as I've known those guys, they've always been willing, oh, come play our break. Okay, let's share a set. That's, that's, I'm glad you're working with him. That he's, is everything. He's an awesome human. There's so much fish in the sea. We all need to, like, be that way, you know? Oh, 100%. 1,000%. So, yeah. So then we did it again with Tribute Con, and then this will be our third. So... On the heart side, yeah. Give me some of the songs you're doing. Of course, we do the hits: "Crazy on You," mm -hmm. uh, "Magic Man," mm -hmm. "Straight On," mm -hmm. "Even It Up," "Kick It Out," yep. "Heartless." Mm -hmm. So these were some of the ones we do: "Dog and Butterfly." Yep. 
Love Alive. Mm -hmm. That was another one uh, that they cut um, back then. White Lightning and Wine. It was that a, one I don't know. It's a B-side of Magic Man when okay. they used to have two songs on one, on one record. Record, yeah. yes, yeah, it was B-side. And then we do um, part of the mid '80s. Well, that would be Straight On and Dog and Butterfly, or and the mid '80s, um, going into stuff like um, Nothing at All, Never. Um, that whole album. Yeah, that whole album, yeah. yeah. Who Can You Run To, uh, If Looks Could Kill. Uh, we do all those 80s. One day we'll put together a medley of those songs, but um, they're so fun. They really are fun. What I wasn't loving back in the 80s. Now you love it. Now I love it. Sure. Yeah. Sure. And then we do Rock and Roll by Led Zeppelin. They started off. Oh, that's cool. That's a Zeppelin cover band. Um, Hart did. I don't know. If I did not know that. Yes, they did. So, Educating me. That's great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we do rock and roll, and uh, Cashmere is on the list of things nice. to learn too. So I hope I didn't miss any amazing songs that. Um, do, now, do you? This is probably you can't pick. But is there a favorite? Do you prefer doing your heart band, or do you prefer doing the Judy Behave thing? It's apples and oranges, you know. And it's really, it really is fun to dress up like Ann Wilson because oh, sure. we do the whole tribute thing. We do the wigs and it's, we are trying to go for authenticity. And so many people, they say, I saw heart 30 times or, you know, when we bring them back, how else are we going to bring them back? If sure. I don't put on a black wig, you know, hundred percent. And so I want to be able to, you know, put that little time machine back for them. And yeah. That's so a, what I, I like is that. that you're so passionate about both of these bands. I am. You yeah. can, you can just hear it, which yeah. is, which thanks, is awesome. Thanks. And which Judy is Behave awesome. is my baby too. Well, I, I, because, both yeah. A hundred percent. Well, yeah. first of all, it's your namesake on the door, uh, right? Yeah. It's Judy Behave, not read, knock it off. Right. It's Judy <laughs> Behave. Yeah. Right. Um, yeah. That's but, true. So there's gotta be between all the stuff you're doing, mm -hmm. there's gotta be something like funny or strange or weird that happened. It's like your your favorite story with this with one of these bands. <laughs> yeah, but well, this is one of my favorite ones. Um, so you know, in finding the core members of Bleeding Heart, uh, we had to start with a small list. Yeah. And then you slowly add songs. Mm -hmm. He's gonna kill me. Okay. He's gonna kill me. Okay. Um, but so we add on the two songs, Babel is Strange. Mm -hmm. Do you know that tune? I do. Babel is Strange, and we add on um, Dog and Butterfly. Okay. Okay. <laughs> He's probably going to die right now. And um, so we had two weeks to learn these two tunes, and I'm calling everybody. Hey, how's it going? You know, because you know as a band leader, you know when people aren't learning tunes, right. they're not telling you. They're no, until going. they show up and don't know it. Yeah, exactly, yeah. 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 But when they are learning it, you hear from them. So anyways, I call Mike. <laughs> I should have said one of the members. I call uh -huh. Mike and I say, I go, hey, how's the learning coming? And he says, um, he's like, oh, great, yeah, you know, I got Babel is Stranger, you know, because he's got the thick thing. Yeah. He's oh, yeah, great, great, it's a great song. I was like, well, what about Dog and Butterfly? And he goes, that has drums? <laughs> <laughs> he That's the only story I could think of. Twitter. Nice. And yeah. obviously he had not looked at that one. <laughs> yeah, the that, night before. The, yeah. That is was, awesome. Yeah. That is awesome. Yeah, he came very prepared the next day, though. He was able to put his ear to it and stuff. But it was funny because it was like a moment where I went, yes, of course it has drums. And, yeah. and I know that typically Judy Behave does full weekends, or are they more of a one night? We're more of a one nighter, you know. Well, I yeah. Well, and, my, and my, the reason I ask that is uh -huh. I'm curious if you're classically trained, yeah, or if you just taught yourself how to sing because the stuff you're doing <laughs> can kill your voice. It's crazy. You know what I mean? Like you're yeah. singing really high pitched stuff, yeah. really powerful stuff all the yeah. time, like. A, are you classically trained, and B, yeah. is there some trick or tip or whatever to make sure you don't blow your voice out doing all this? Yeah, I got both. Yeah, I do have three years of classical training. When I was 16 years old, my mother drove me to Altamont Springs every Saturday for my one-hour lesson. She'll tell you herself, New York Italian. <laughs> yeah, so um, three years of classical training, and then I had a really good coach that taught me how to really apply it to nice. you know regular stuff. So my one bit of advice, and I do coach on the side too. Oh, nice. I okay. You knew that, yeah. Um, is warm down. We all know about warming up mm -hmm. through some form of another. We know where to position our voices, but we always forget to warm down. Which is which is what said the drummer. usually like bubble lips like. Oh, I got you. Stuff like that. You gotcha. warm down. You end up talking, talking, talking after a gig, and you don't warm down and gargle with salt water. That's always been my my go-to. 
And you mentioned that because this weekend is a double bill for it me. is, and it's, it's Friday all powerhouse and stuff. It isn't yeah. dial it in. I mean, this yeah. is all powerful. Yeah. Stuff. Well, that's awesome. And I have seen you, like I said, many times. I'm going to try and come and see both you and Primal Crew. Yes. Uh, I'm not around on Sunday where I would go see Tribute Con oh, because right. Brian, I mean, Glenn Sterling, all those guys. Mm -hmm. um, but I think it's awesome you're back out on the scene doing so much. Thank you. I hope some of the club owners now know. Yeah. about both Judy Behave and Bleeding Heart. Thank you. you know, maybe you'll pick up some more venues from that. That'd I'd be certainly awesome. love to see you out more. Yeah. Um, I thank you very, very much for taking the time to do it. This thank has been you. awesome. Yeah. And I thank everybody else for watching. I hope you guys have a great weekend, and we will see you next week for the band crawl. Go see Midnight Mayhem. Oh, they'll be busy at Bleeding Heart. They can't have <laughs> time. You guys have a good weekend. Good night.